Have you ever wondered how the Bible is structured? Well, imagine the Bible as an intricate library filled with a variety of books, history, poetry, prophecy, letters, and more. Each book contributes to a grand narrative, painting a vibrant picture of God's love for humanity, the journey of faith, and the hope of salvation. The Christian Bible traditionally divides into two main sections, the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament, primarily a record of the religious history of the ancient Israelites, begins with the Pentateuch. This section consists of the books of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Following the Pentateuch, you find historical books. These books, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, and Esther, provide a detailed account of the history of the Israelites. Next in line are the poetic books or wisdom literature. These include Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and the Song of Solomon. They offer sublime poetry and profound wisdom about human experience and divine revelation. The Old Testament concludes with the prophetic books. Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, and Daniel are known as the major prophets. The minor prophets include 12 books from Hosea to Malachi. Transitioning from the Old Testament, we move into the New Testament, focusing on the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ and the early Christian community. The Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, provide four unique perspectives on the life and teachings of Jesus. Following the Gospels, we find the Acts of the Apostles, a historical account of the early Christian community. Next are the Pauline Epistles, letters written by the Apostle Paul to various churches and individuals. These include Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. The general epistles written by various authors follow the Pauline epistles. These are Hebrews, James, 1st and 2nd Peter, 1st, 2nd and 3rd John, and Jude. The grand finale of the Bible is the Book of Revelation, a prophetic book filled with vivid imagery and symbolism, offering hope for the ultimate triumph of God's kingdom. In summary, the Bible is a collection of 66 books, each with its unique style, perspective, and message. The books are organized in a chronological and thematic order, painting a rich tapestry of God's interaction with humanity across time. From the historical narratives of the Old Testament to the prophetic revelations of the New Testament, the Bible's structure serves to guide readers on a journey of faith, hope, and love.